Hello and welcome to IT Pro TV's 12 Days of IT, where we're unboxing 12 different IT gadgets, then giving them away. If you haven't already registered to win, head over to itpro.tv slash 12 days to sign up. Then tune into IT Pro TV's very first YouTube Live on Friday, December 11th at 2 p.m. Eastern to see if you're a lucky winner. You won't want to miss a day, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications. All right, today's the seventh day of IT, and that means Daniel will be unboxing a Wi-Fi Pineapple. Daniel, take it away. Thanks, Zach. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the Wi-Fi Pineapple, which comes with a lot of really cool stuff. I've kind of laid it out here on the table for us to check out. There's the uh, carry bag. Oh, we've got a USB extender, a uh, Velcro patch. you got a bag tag. got another patch that looks as, as Velcro as well. Cool sticker. Neat stuff. But that's not what we came here to see, right? We came here to see the Wi-Fi Pineapple Mark 7. Let's get into this bad boy. Pow! Opened up. There seems to be a card. Cards are great. Boom. Card it up. Wi-Fi Pineapple. This is the instructions. Kind of necessary. Let me get that focused for you. Boom. That's close. Right? Gives you the instructions on how to get this thing going. Some other instructions on the back. Just a indication of, I guess that's the other finger. Uh, blinking blue, solid blue, solid red. What all that stuff does. All the stuff that should come in your box. Uh, this card is one of them. All right. So put that down. Back to the overhead here. Necessary piece of equip, right? Connector, it's USB-C to USB-C. We also got some, aha, antennas. Very good. I'll see, I think there's more than two. Yeah, there's one. A towel, bam, like that. So three antennas should be in there. And of course, the coup de gras, which is the Wi-Fi pinopole itself. Come out. There it is. Look at that. It's black. It's scary. It has three <laughs> antenna connections and a what looks like a heat dissipation area for this. Also, I think there's a, yeah, let's go here so you can kind of see. Bam. We've got the, um, what looks like the USB uh, port and the USB-C port and then maybe a reset button or something. Good stuff. I guess the uh, next thing to do would be kind of connect all this stuff up. Just kind of do a little... Little screwy screw job there. So it looks like a giant digital ninja star or something when they get done with it. If you don't put up the antennas, they just kind of lay them out there. Get all three connected. And then, bing, 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 look at that. That is a cool piece of gear right there. I say uh, we hook this thing up to a laptop and just kind of fiddle with it a little bit and see what it does. Let me grab that. Okay, so I've got the uh, pineapple connected to my laptop via the USB-C cable that came with it. And following the instructions on the card, it says to connect to a 2-amp USB power source. So that might be important. And then join the pineapple XXXX Wi-Fi network. So let's go do that here. Let's uh, grab this. And as I can see, mine is going to be pineapple 1079. So I click, click connect. Everything seems to be going. It is connecting. No, no hatred toward me so far. I, li I like that. Uh, just waiting for that connecting business to happen. You, it might not be fully booted. There is an indicator light on the back of it that is blue. And as we saw from the, uh, the card yet again, it did say if it's blinking blue, it's still starting up. When it's solid blue, it is ready. So maybe I'm just not quite at the boot up yet. But it is showing the, app, the access point. So... There it goes. Boom. No internet. Oh, so I was looking for internet access. Now you know to be on, uh, on point for that. All right. Now, again, back to the direction. It says browse to 172.16.42.1 on port 1471 and follow the on-screen instructions. Okay. Let's do that. Bring up my browser. And we will go to 172.16.42.1. And it was 1471. All right, go. All right, so let's see. It's asking me to quickly press some things. So there's that, uh, that what I thought was a reset button, or maybe it is. But to continue the wi with the Wi-Fi AP disabled, recommended secure option requires USB Ethernet connection, which we have. Uh, I just quickly press it, or I can press four seconds, and I can go with Wi-Fi enabled. I'm just going to quickly press it and see what it does. Kind of hard to get. I don't know if it did it. Let me try again. I felt some some contact there. Not 100% sure. Oh, yep, there we go. 
All right, download the latest firmware. You must download the latest firmware for your Pineapple. Select Wi-Fi network from the list below. Automatically download the firmware. Alternatively, you can upload a firmware file. So it looks like you're not getting any farther than this without doing this step. So IT Pro TV, let's see here. Okay, so finally we're done. It uh, got that and we'll just go ahead and begin the setup. And this is verify your device, waiting for verification. Click the button in front of your Wi-Fi pineapple once to continue setup with the radios disabled, recommended, or hold it for four seconds. So I'll just, this is the hardest part. I'm not gonna, there we go. I clicked it once. Continue with radios disabled, perfect. Uh, change log, that's all nice stuff. We'll just continue our way through here. Doing time zones, root passwords. Um, I guess I'll just put a password in here. Yeah, there we go. Time zone is I'm not in London. <laughs> I am in Eastern time. Eastern Australia, no. Where's Eastern United States? There we go, Eastern time. And next. Wireless configuration management SSID, I'll just call it Pine AP and the open SSCD, I'll do Pine AP dash open. Management password, current country, United States, and looks all good to me. Let's go. Next. Cont client filter configuration limit the scope of engagement by choosing which devices may connect. Allow only specific devices or any device that isn't specifically on the deny list. We will allow connections and allow associations. There we go. What the heck? What do you think? Light or dark? We'll go with, we'll do light today. Terms of service, I accept, I accept, and fini, setup is complete. You will be redirected shortly. All right, here is the login page for when you're actually trying to get into the management console. I assume the username is root because I did not fill that out, and I'll put in the password that I did, and there we go. Chrome keeps trying to save it for me, but I'm good, thank you. It's pretty simple. <laughs> We're just demonstrating a thing. Uh, it's wanting to connect to the internet, so I can choose one of these options. I'm just gonna close this for right now. Kind of just look at the interface, kind of walk around for just a second. Really nice dashboard style, how many clients are connected, disk usage, system status, SSID collected. Because if you're not familiar with what this actually does, well, let's jump over to Hack5 and kind of have some features here. It's a leading rogue access point, a leading leader. Patented Pine AP suite thoroughly mimics preferred networks, enabling man in the middle attacks. This is for use, uh, in wireless penetration testing for wireless uh, penetration testers. If you're doing some sort of red teaming, this could be super helpful in that as well. Can do WPA and WPA enterprise attacks, precision targeting filters, so that you stay in scope, which is super important when you're doing a pen test. We got a simple web interface, which we've seen. Cross-platform, doesn't matter what you're running it on, Windows, Linux, Mac. Advanced reconnaissance, actionable intelligence, passive surveillance, automated campaigns. That's kind of cool. Guided campaign wizards delivered repeatable, actionable results with custom reports. And then there's this uh, Cloud C2 enabled. Deploy with confidence, remotely command and control the airwaves with Hack5 Cloud. That's that's actually super cool right there. So there you go. Kind of a kind of a really quick look at the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Definitely something I would want to play around with more. I have an older version of this, so this newer version would be uh, really fun for me to get my uh, fingers wet in or however you like to talk about it. And uh, like I said, wouldn't mind seeing this underneath my Christmas tree this year. That being said, take it away, Zach. Oh look, a new Wi-Fi channel. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. If you'd like to win that or any of the gadgets from the 12 Days of IT, well, then head over to itpro.tv slash 12 days to sign up. On Friday, December 11th, tune in at 2 p.m. Eastern right here for our YouTube Live and see if you're a winner. Now go ahead and subscribe to the IT Pro TV YouTube channel right now and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a day. See you tomorrow for the next gift. <laughs>